Hi, and welcome to Healthcare Matters, where the medical and legal communities come together to discuss healthcare matters. Today's guest is John Degnan. John's a shareholder with Briggs & Morgan in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where he specializes in business litigation, including medical professional liability. John has represented clients with electronic medical record issues and has experience with HIPAA and the High Tech Act. Welcome to Healthcare Matters, John. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. In your defense of medical liability claims, what have been the most common errors or liabilities in a physician's use of electronic medical records, and how do you advise your physician clients to avoid these specific errors and liabilities in the future? Well, the medical records uh, that are electronic in nature are very um, user-friendly in many ways once a provider gets to use them, and they're more efficient. However, with all the drop-downs and checklists, one has to be careful to make sure that it's absolutely accurate, that captures the system or the situation with that particular patient at that time. And if uh, none of the drop downs exactly portray what the physician is seeing, then you pick the best one, but also go on to do whatever is necessary in terms of free texting to be sure that it captures exactly what the situation is. The other new issue that's starting to arise is the, uh, the way that we communicate now is so often not only by email but by text, uh, and even some physicians are doing this with the patients. Text should be avoided, obviously, because no one can um, maintain the record of that. And emails are fine as long as they're within the system, like my chart is one of the common ones around in our region. Uh, that allows for communicating very basically with an email with your physician, but it's captured within the system so that it's preserved. Uh, what one wants to avoid is not to uh, email back and forth with Gmail because there's no way to really maintain a complete record of the communications with the patients. Well, I'd like to thank John Degnan for coming on our, on our show today. It's been a pleasure, and I hope you'll come back soon. Well, I hope I'm invited back. I enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you. How has the move from paper medical records to electronic medical records affected best practices for entering data into a patient's chart? And what guidance would you give physicians so that they're using best practices when entering data into their patient's medical records?